Hi, this is Mike with Tanker Company. Today I'd like to show you how to replace or reverse the four-way switch in your handheld joystick controller. Today I'll be using a straight blade controller for the tutorial. Look at the serial number tag on the controller. You'll see on this one that it has an SR at the beginning of the number. The S tells us that it's for a straight blade plow. It can be used on any mid-weight plow, heavy-duty steel straight, scoop plow, or a trip edge plow. The R tells us that the switch is replaceable. Plows built before 2005 have a soldered in switch and their serial number will just have the letter S, V, or C, depending on the model of the plow. No R in the number, they require a different switch. They are still available. All double acting V plows have replaceable switches. The controllers have different face plates on it for each model plow. The red one is our straight blade, the blue one in the center is the double acting V plow, and the gray one is for our C plow. This would be a C plow controller with a C R in the serial number. And this would be our D A V plow. To remove the switch, flip your controller over and remove the four Phillips screws from the back. With the cover removed, gently lift up on the switch you'll notice that it has two sets of contacts. The controller is set up to lower the plow when pushing the four-way switch forward and raise the plow when pulled rearward. This is reversible if preferred. Simply rotate the switch when reinstalling. The label on the controller has a faceplate that is reversible to show the other configuration. I'll show you how to reverse that after we reassemble the controller. If you're experiencing intermittent problems with the four-way switch, it is possible it's just dirty. Cleaning it may help. Remove the rubber diaphragm gasket. And just use uh, compressed air to blow in down inside the switch as you're rotating around. Sometimes that'll help clean up if there's any dirt, dust, or debris down in there. You may be able to get your switch to work um, after cleaning it out. Uh, make sure you reassemble the little diaphragm gasket in. The diaphragm gasket is replaceable. It is part number 36718033. The replacement switch is part number 36014019. With the new switch installed, replace the rear cover. Set up the four screws, don't over tighten them. As I mentioned earlier, the face plate is reversible. To remove it, just simply pull up on one side of it. It has four tabs on it. Just flip it over, reinsert the tabs, curl it slightly, and snap it back into place. Thank you for watching, and if you have technical questions, please feel free to give our support staff a call at 507-625-0314, or email me at mikez, M-I-K-E-Z as in zebra, at hennecker.com. Have a great day, and together with Hennecker, let's put snow in its place.